Hi, welcome to Art Draw. Today we're going to draw Zuko from Fortnite and also Avatar at the moment. So let's get in there at the top and uh, do his hair. So his hair's quite kind of like messy, so I'm just going to do some like kind of messy hair just around here. Sort of like got quite a big mop of hair. Bring it down to there, sort of like the side of his head to there, and then he's kind of got a few little bits coming around and his eyes around this bit. And then it kind of and it curves around again here, around there where his ear might be. Bring that down there, and like a bit down here. Then he's kind of got quite a pointed chin, so from that point, I'll just draw on there. It's going to bring this down like that, and then really kind of bring that up quite, quite severely. Just colour that bit in there. Okay, that's cool. Now we've got that facial area in. Let's do a little. Uh, nose, a tiny little nose on him, like that. Okay, and then just a little line for a mouth, like quite sort of stern. Little sort of lip area just underneath, so just a little bit. And kind of just see a bit of a brow here, and a bit of a kind of stern, bit of an eye there. And then on this side, it's kind of got this kind of eye area, there's a, like a shaded area there, so it's going to bring that round there, and then kind of just draw in, like, eye area around here it's like quite purple right there and then just kind of just bring that eye bit there and just like accentuate that with a bit of a eyebrow as well all right cool next up uh just need a line about there for neck and then the neck kind of kind of just shows a little bit on this side too and it's kind of like the neck muscles just down by that area there little dot probably just about here Okay, that's this part where his tunic starts. So we just work our way up there, a bit like a V, up like that too. And then we can kind of work out, it's kind of got his tunic on here that kind of comes down past that and around sort of down to about here. This side from the neck, kind of come out and then down again as well, like that too. It's kind of piped with quite a wide band, so I'm just going to just go around where we've just created that line, just to sort of create a thick kind of band look around there. Okay, let's just cap that off there. Okay, next up, let's just put the shoulder areas in. So kind of curve around here and curve around there. All right, that then comes in either side, right here and here. Okay, and then that this tunic then kind of comes back down to here where this kind of tapers off here, just join it up. Same area here, and then bring that up sort of to there. Let's just, just join that up there. Okay, cool. All right, next up, we can just put the, the belt area in. So two lines, it's quite a chunky belt. And then we'll just join that up, just like so there, okay? A little bit in the middle there, so I'm just gonna pop, pop a little rectangle in, and then like bits of material coming out of that. So just show that there. Maybe just a little bit of detail either side a couple of lines where that belt goes. From that point, we can then just continue like this sort of like uh, wider sort of piping. This comes down, sort of flares to there, comes up there, and then that will then come out this way and then just join around that area there. Same sort of thing here, so we're just gonna go sort of down like that, bring that up, and then bring that around and sort of join up the belt area there. Uh, now the piping then continues, sort of down to about this point. Do that on either side. Okay, then kind of flares out a little sort of arrow there, and then sort of there's some little detailing in. So I'll just do some little wavy lines there, and then just like a couple of swirls in there like that. Okay, Let's just pop his uh, trousers in. So he's got quite flared trousers here. So I'm just going to sort of draw quite a wide piece of material that kind of flares out. And it goes in here, flares out this side too, like that. Okay. Then he's got a couple of boots on. So this will then come sort of out down to about there. This boot here, sort of flare in where the ankle is to there. This side, fairly straight line to there. And then just bring it out a bit where the calf is and then down where the heel would be there. Okay. Do the lower area of his uh, boot here. Just bring it out where the toe area would be up and then slowly sort of taper that up, join it up there. This side, the foot is coming out, 
uh, sort of more towards us. So heel would come down to about there. And then we'll just bring it around toe area, bring it around and just join up where the angle will be there. Okay, it's got like the toe little cap bit there. Uh, and then there's again this sort of like line that goes up all the way and it's more a bit like the band on his tunic. So we'll just draw those in. And then just draw that in there. Then we'll just pop a little bit of footing on the heels there. Couple of little bits of detail here where it kind of creases over. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Just got his arms to do now. So let's just bring out the tunic sort of area here where his material is. That really flares out quite a way and then sort of continues up and meets up. So there's a little like lip where the shoulder area is. A um, little bit of material sort of there. And then we've got a like nice little, little bit of piping in here. So a very small little band above there. Same sort of thing here. So we're just going to draw a flared area out there, bring that in right into the tunic. And then again, we can just move our way around a little bit of piping there and there. Okay. This bit of tuning here, tunic here now, sort of the material inside, we can just bring this line down, just meet up to that banding area. And again, we've got the similar sort of piping. So I'm just going to sort of draw that in like the sleeves area here. Same on this side, just join that up there and then a bit of piping going on there, okay? Just join that up there. Then we've got the arms to put in. So first arm, gonna go from like the forearm uh, crease is gonna be about there. So we're just gonna bring it out sort of around here, flare it out a bit and in, okay? And then we've just got his hand down here. So we're gonna pop his thumb there and then his wrist and his fingers can come around like that. Just pop a couple of fingers in there. This side, this arm can come sort of flare out down here. The thumb can go about there. Let's do the same here. So it kind of flares out, comes in like there to the wrist. And then this, these fingers can come sort of down one, two, three, four, and then join that up with the wrist there. Okay, let's put a little bit of ground on there. So a little bit of terrain going on. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, now I'm just going to colour in this hair area here, so just get the black pen and we're just going to just fill that in there. There's a nice amount of flat colour on these avatar characters, so they're really quite nice to colour in and they're generally pretty, pretty quick to colour as well. Um, and there's not many colours in the palette, which do make them pop quite a bit really. Just the extra little bit here where the muscles are, so a little bit of the top peck there, and it kind of just comes down there to show that. Maybe I'll just put a little crease in where the arm is there too. Right, cool. Okay, let's get colouring. I'm gonna get a skin colour. Let's just get that skin colouring in. So just, just fill it in. A sort of flush tone. There. We'll go into this area here. Yeah, right on there to leave a little bit of white. around here, just start filling in sort of where this eye area is as well, around there. Cool. Uh, and then let's get ourselves a sort of red, sort of deep red colour. And what I'm going to do is just going to fill in generally all of him around here. Just leave that area there where the piping is. Do the area below. this side. This 
this area below here. And then it's also in this sort of tunic area here. Just fill those bits in. Leave that very fine line. We'll colour that in in a minute with a yellow, a yellowy gold. Uh, and then really from the boot all the way up. Just leaving that width for piping. Fill in the lower trousers. And then And then the uh, inner part of the trousers too. Cool, okay. Just this area here too. Nice one, okay. Let's get ourselves a nice kind of goldy yellow now. And what we'll do is we can just fill in you know, these areas. Just around, there you are. This yellow pop of color starts making the picture really work for me. That's it area line up there. Cool. And then there's little bands there. Let's just change to the finer nib on the Pro Marker. There we go. All right. And then what I'll do now is get a bit of a kind of crimson colour. I'm just going to try and just work over the top. The boots are just gives that extra little bit of depth to our picture. Actually, maybe it's not quite enough. Maybe I just get the grey. Just try. Yeah, that's maybe a bit bit better tone. Just changes. That depth sort of gives it a more sort of burgundy kind of look. Just fill in right there where there's some greys. And then these areas as well. I'm just gonna color over, color over the top, sort of fill it in with these pro markers. This is where the color works really well. That's it. Just starts getting a nice bit of differentiation between the trousers and his uh, tunic, which is what we want. And then this area, the lower area here, fill that in, this area here. And then we've got this kind of piping here, here, and then here and there. Let's just fill that in. Okay, now it's looking like Zuko. And then fill this in as well. Wicked, okay, that's cool. Just gonna go get the kind of like yellow again, just fill in where his eye is. And then I think we're just gonna get purpley colour just sort of in here and then where the eye area is as well let's fill that in okay shave that off there uh, and then let's have a think maybe maybe that colour as well we can just and use a lot of it so just pop it at the bottom here where the where the terrain is there we go we're good Let's get that crimson out again. And I think that is probably it. So there we go. That is Zuko uh, from Avatar on Art Draw. Uh, please do keep liking and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching Art Draw.